What's going on, guys? It's your boy Arco Tech back at you. What up, Twitch streamer uh, known by Tyler One Trick Two G? Everybody fucking knows Arco Tech. Everybody knows the Tech Nation, the most OP nation on Twitch. Check me out. Um, today, guys, we're gonna be talking about how to get out of bronze. How do you get out of bronze? How the fuck do I get out of bronze? I get asked that so many times every single day, every single week. How do I get out of bronze? I made a list of everything I think that you guys need to know. I've watched a shitload of videos on how to get out of bronze. They're all garbage. They all suck. Uh, it's all 30 second, 30 second fucking videos, five minute videos that shows gameplay of them getting a couple of kills and they think they're fucking good and whatever. And, and that method might work for some people, but I'm telling you, boo boo, I've got it written down. I know how you guys can get out of bronze. I figured it out. Um, let me start off by saying I watch probably 30 to f at least 30 hours a week of gameplay footage every single week. I watch and analyze plays. We have something called Tech Wars every single Saturday on Twitch, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I give out RP for these tournaments. I shout cast the entire tournament. There's diamonds at play. There's challengers. There's been masters. There's been bronzes. The teams are completely random. Come on by. It's completely random who gets on a team. I pick 20 people to play. Uh, it's good times, and you win free RP, and I cast the whole thing, and I analyze all the gameplay. That is one thing that has helped me improve a million percent. I've been playing since season one. I didn't give a fuck about ranked until the end of last season. I cared about it a little bit. I immediately made it to Silver 4. Uh, I played for like the last month of the season, if that. This season, I just hit gold. Uh, it retarded easy. It's getting easier and easier for me to climb. I've written down all of these things that you guys need to know that I think will help you guys. I know will help you guys climb no matter what. So get out your fucking pen or your marker or your crayons, you boosted little animals. Write this shit down. I'm telling you guys, this will definitely help improve your gameplay. If not, take you out of bronze immediately. Um... I'm going to go over some of the tips I've got for you guys. The first thing you guys can do to get out of bronze is pick one champion and master him. Fucking master him. One champion. One champion. One champion. Um, the other thing is, with that champion you're going to pick, is pick someone you enjoy playing. You will win way more games playing someone you enjoy playing than playing someone that you think you're good with. So pick someone you enjoy playing. You're like, yo, this is my favorite fucking champion. I don't care if my friends hate me. I just love playing this champion. Now, you've got to be good with that champion. So make sure you're always improving your skill with him. And make sure you're doing good. And you can always check out whether or not if you're good with the champion or not at op.gg. I'll have a link in the description. Great website to check out. Um, so use it. Check out your win rates. Um, follow that shit. The other thing is you want to also, you want to also have... Two champions in every lane you can play. Make sure. This is just bread and butter. We haven't even gotten to the fucking good shit yet. So make sure you have two champions that you can play in every lane. Okay? Every lane, every role. You're not always going to get your fucking Draven. Okay? You're not always going to get your fucking guy. So don't run it down fucking mid. Be like, alright, I'm going to go ahead and play this, this other lane. It's cool. And have two champions in every role that you can play well. That you can play well. Okay? Um, you have to want to get out of bronze and you have to really want to, to get out of bronze. You're not just going to fucking do it. No one's going to hand it to you. You got to want to get out of bronze guys. Um, the other thing is this game and you've got to, you've got to know this. This game is strategy. It's strategy. It's objective based. And once you realize that the sooner, the fucking better, the sooner you, the sooner, the better strategy based. It's objective based. You've got to know the objectives. You got to get the objectives, okay? Um, play someone. Also, if you vape, you win way more. I'm just kidding. So listen. So it's strategy based, uh, objective based, and like I said, that's getting turrets, getting dragons, uh, knowing knowing what to do, when to do it is a big thing, and that's why watching watching gameplay is going to help you. 10 times, rewatch your games, record them, download fucking faps, fraps, whatever the fuck that shit is, record your games, rewatch them, spectate a friend, fucking watch a shitload of games, not just pros, pros are fucking pros, you're a pleb, you're a fucking bronze pleb, you're not gonna fucking, 
You're not going to fucking, you're going to watch the pros. Yeah, you're going to learn some shit, but you need to watch shittier players. You need to watch players of all ELOs to grasp what they do and how they do it. And talk to yourself. Okay, this guy's going here. Okay, I know he's going there because that's why he's going there. Talk to yourself. Talk out loud um, about what they're doing. Like I said, play someone you enjoy. You'll be 10 times better. You're, you'll be enjoying the game. Not someone that you're good with, but you fucking hate playing him. You hate fucking, you just hate Darius Top. Then why the fuck are you playing Darius Top? I don't care if you have an 80% win rate with Darius Top. Don't play fucking Darius Top if you're fucking, you don't enjoy having fucking, you're not enjoying it. Don't fucking play it. Play someone you enjoy with, you'll win 10 times more. I promise you. Promise you. Um, know your item build. Know your fucking item build. I swear to fucking Mother Mary, know your fucking item build. I'm sick of fucking seeing people. They don't know what to build as the game progresses. And they don't know what to build from the start. Know your fucking item build. Okay? Know what you're supposed to build. Go to If you, if you don't know what I'm talking about, go to OP.GG. Go to OP.GG. Fucking study that shit. But also study like, okay, um, you know... They're starting to get really tanky. We need some items that are going to shred tanks. I mean, start learning the shit on what you need to build. When to, when to get a ZZ raw top. You know, fucking learn that shit. Your item build. What to build. Um, it, it, it's really vital on knowing your build. What to build. When to build it. When not to build it. When to counter build. All of that shit. Um, know if they're a heavy AD team, you know, to build armor and shit like that. Obviously. They're all fucking AD. You're going to build fucking armor. They're all AP. You're going to build what? Fucking magic resist. Hello? Magic resist. They're all fucking AP. You're going to build magic resist, okay? Bust out your Galio, Galio, whatever the fuck his name is. Bust it out. If they first pick a Ramus, what are you going to do? Do you fucking know? No, you don't fucking know. If they all, if they fucking first pick a Ramus, everyone on your team, AP. Drop that fucking AP. Fucking bust out that AP, yo. Um... Ramus, if you guys don't know, he has like a built-in thorn mail and he returns and, he, and he, when you buy a thorn mail, it fucking Ramus, if you don't know who fucking Ramus is, look him up. Because Ramus, like I said, if, if you gotta know these things, if they first pick a fucking Ramus, then you guys aren't gonna go all day, all AD. Uh, you wanna counter him so everyone goes AP. For the most part. Um, know when to get out of a fight. Uh, these fucking kids, man. You've, you, you're down mid. Okay, you've got the first tier turret down. You're at second tier turret. Okay, or even third tier turret right in front of Inhib, right? And you're fighting. Your whole team is fucking below half health, right? There's three of you. There's three of you left. Two, two people have died. They're about to come. They, they, they're all about to respawn. They're about to come fuck you up. And you know that because you've done it a million times. You stay. You try to take the turret. Then they come and they shit on your fucking face. And you're like, ooh, that sucks. Why? Because you fucking stayed too long. Why did you fucking stay? You should have left. Bye. Leave. Fucking leave. Don't stay too long. Know when to pull out. You're going to have a kid. I already have one. His name's Sock Monkey. Um, ward a lot. We're not even. We're, we're, almost, we're, we're almost halfway through. Ward a lot. Okay. When you're back, buy a pink. I don't give a fuck if you're top. I don't care. Oh, I'm top. I don't need a ward. Fucking ward. I'm so sick of watching fucking games, and I watch Tech Wars all the time. I shoutcast it every fucking weekend, all the time. And it's like, you've got two wards from your trinket, you don't fucking use it. Like, why aren't you using your wards? Ward. Ward. Vision is key. Upgrade your fucking trinket at level 9. Everyone should have a fucking Farsight. Two max. And then at level 9, your support should have a fucking Oracles. Okay? That's the fucking red one, if you don't know what I'm talking about. And it sweeps, and it finds wards. Everyone should have fucking their upgraded trinkets by level 9. If your team doesn't have it, type to them, Hey, can you please upgrade your trinket? Be nice about it. Um, count, Counter. If, if they have a fucking stealth champion, Twitch, Rengar, Akali, whatever, maybe get an extra Oracles. Maybe grab a pink. You'll, you'll counter them immediately just by doing that. CS is big, and I'm continually working on my CS. CS is big. It's average 15 CS a, uh, is a kill. So CS is big, and while you're CSing in lane, try to fucking watch the other the other enemy champion CS, and when he's going to take a last hit, hit him. Poke him. Throw, throw a Q. Throw an E. Throw a W. Poke him a little bit. Know that. 
Deny him CS. Easiest fucking thing in the world. We haven't even gotten to the final thing that I know wins games. Play with players that are good. Stop playing with fucking little Charlie down the street because he's your friend in your fucking school. If he fucking sucks, he fucking sucks. How do you know if they suck? Look at their fucking match history. If it's like loss, 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 Ebola, AIDS, loss, win, loss, loss. They're fucking shitty. Don't play with them. Don't play with that person. They're only going to bring you down, baby. Play with people that are good. That you know are good. Um, make sure you, uh, you use voice comms with them. Discord, curse, Skype, fucking call them on the phone. I don't know. Voice comms help a lot. A lot, a lot. Um, don't troll, don't rage, okay? Don't troll and don't rage. What I mean by that is don't type in the fucking all chat. Fuck, you suck. I hope you fucking kill yourself. No, don't do that. Don't, don't rage at your fucking team, dude. You're gonna get fucking, or even, even into your teammates because you're just gonna tell your own fucking teammates, yo. And don't worry, we're about to get some good shit. Don't tell your own teammates, guys. You're not gonna fucking win shit. So don't type. Don't even type unless it's fucking educational. Unless it's National Geographic and you're gonna be like, yo, dude, top is warded. Don't fucking type, okay? Don't type. You don't have friends to play with, solo queue's fine. Some of these, a lot of these things will really help you. Um, take a break. If you lose two games or more, take a break. Immediately. You lose two games, take a break. Take a break. Take a break. Go outside. Smoke a cigarette. Fucking vape. Fucking uh, run up and down the street. Go catch a Pokemon. Fucking bang your, get, bang your girlfriend. Do whatever the fuck you want to do. Take a break. Come back. If you're on a hardcore winning streak, take a break. Take a break. Why not? Because you get burnt out, okay? So if you win fucking eight games straight, by the ninth game, you're going to be like, fuck, dude. You're not going to be playing as good as the first couple games. So take a break. Take a fucking break, baby. Achy, breaky, hard. Take a fucking break. Um, always play in a good mindset. Guys, you're going to win way more games if you play in a good mindset. Uh, you know, your dog died yesterday and you're really fucking sad. Probably not a good idea to play league. Uh, your neighbor got hit by a car and you really like them. Not a good idea to play league. You're probably going to be tilted. Uh, your girlfriend's pregnant and you're not ready for it and you're nervous and scared. Probably not a good idea to play ranked. Fucking make sure you're in a good mindset, guys. Make sure you're in a good mind. You're sick, really sick. You don't feel good. Don't play ranked. Play fucking normals. Practice on your main. Uh, your trick. La, 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 la. Let's see what do we got here. Um, we're almost done. Watch a shitload of games, man. Watch a shitload of games. Pros. Watch, watch pros play. Watch, watch the LCS. Watch your friends who suck. Learn from their mistakes. Watch your own games that are recorded. Um, just watch an ass load of fucking games, man. And, and talk to yourself. People might think you're fucking crazy, but talk to yourself. Be like, okay, he's going mid. Alright, he's going mid. Now he's going top. Why the fuck is he ganking? What the fuck? I mean, like, watch that shit. Why? Why is he going in on three people? What a fucking idiot. And you know in your head, because you're telling yourself, don't go in when there's three fucking people. You're probably going to feed. So, it's really crazy, but I'm telling you, you'll, you'll end up playing a lot better. Okay, here we go, guys. Rotate. Rotations. Rotations. Cloud Drake, they just buffed. Rotations. Rotations. Like, I can't even fucking stress it enough. Rotations. Rotate. Fuck. Okay. What I mean by rotate is you win mid lane. You win mid, right? Go top. Gank top. What the fuck is mid laner doing top, right? Well, you're fed. Now you're going to help him win his lane. Give him a kill, right? Go bot. You're, you're level six. You've gotten two kills in your belt. Fucking roam. Roam and rotate. Roam and rotate. Top needs to be TP into drag. Top needs to be TP into bot. Fucking always rotate. Always fucking rotate, guys. If you out-rotate the other team, you will win fucking so much more. And when you're ahead, continue to do things that are ahead. War start warding their jungle. Start taking their jungle camps. Start taking their turrets. Take fucking baby fucking baron. Take fucking dragons. Start rotating and taking things to tilt them. And that's what I'm talking about. The main thing here that will help you win more games is tilt the other team. Tilt them. Oh my gosh, it's the easiest thing in the world. Tilt them. 
you win your lanes. It's it's twenty to five or twenty to ten. You just killed all of them in a team fight. Everyone's alive. All chat. Type in GG Freelo. All chat. Boom. They're so tilted right now. They just lost the team fight. It's you guys are twenty fucking kills, dude. I'm telling you, tilt them. You can also tilt them by like ganking one lane a shitload. Okay, your top laner's winning. Tell him to play back a little bit. He he got two kills under. Tell him to play back. Gank top. Kill that guy again. To where that guy is like, fuck this fucking game. But I keep getting camped. You're tilting them. You're tilting them. You ever been camped too much where you're like, yo, this motherfucker won't stop coming to my lane? Yep. You're getting tilted. He's tilting you. Because he won't stop. He keeps coming to your lane and killing you over and over and over. You're getting camped. Right. Because he's trying to tilt you. And eventually you get tilted. Do that to them. Tilt the fuck out of them. BM them. Fucking, yo, ping your fucking mastery. Control fucking, what is it, six? Ping your fucking mastery. Fucking after you kill them. Fucking troll them a little bit, but in the BM sense, but not over the top. Don't type in negative fucked up shit. Just, you know, at, at, at 22 minutes after you get Baron and you kill them all at Baron, GG, guys, GG. It tilts the fuck out of them, dude. And they're probably going to surrender. I'm telling you, the easiest way to win games, guys, is tilt the other team. The fastest you can tilt them, the faster you'll win. Play tilt champions. Fucking, oh my god, uh, fucking Nasus, Susan, total tilt champion. Uh, Riven's a tilt champion. Ash is pretty fucking tilt right now. A fed Ash is fucking AIDS. Play tilty champions, guys. Rengar will tilt the fuck out of somebody. Uh, a Fed Shaco will tilt somebody. Play tilt champions. You don't have to, but it helps. Um, rotate guys. Tilt that top laner off the face of the fucking earth. Remember, if you're Fed, don't just stay in your lane. Roam to other lanes. Tilt other lanes. I know I've said tilt for five fucking minutes now, but I'm telling you right now, guys. As soon as that, and I, I've watched it so many times. As soon as that enemy team gets a little bit tilted, it's GG. It's GG. Nine times out of ten, they won't recover from that. Nine times out of ten, they will not recover if they're tilted. They just won't do it. This is a 17-minute fucking video, dude. Holy shit. Anyways, guys, you want to see any more videos like this? Let me know in the comments below. I promise you, baby. Write down this shit. You'll win way more games. Bust out that one-trick pony, that one main. Make sure you have other champions that you can play in other lanes, guys. Ward like crazy. CS like crazy. As soon as you're a little bit even remotely fed, start roaming. Help your teammates get kills. Tilt the fuck out of the other team. Win games, baby. Tech Nation, baby. GG, motherfuckers. GG. Tech Nation, let's go.